What's up everybody? This is Tyler from 10 Thumbs Pro coming at you with another lesson, all right? What are we going to be doing today? I've been listening to a lot of Latin music lately. Well, I've always kind of liked Latin music, but particularly I've been listening to a lot of bolero, okay? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be breaking down a traditional bolero strum. It's pretty, and I'm going to make it a little more feisty, okay? I'm going to add a little bit of power to it, some mutes and everything. It might be a little tricky for you at first, but you're going to have a lot of fun using this and I want you to get it on your fingers because you may see some song tutorials coming soon with this particular strum pattern, okay? 10thumbspro.com, check the links below so you can get involved and help us grow. But if you came just for this lesson, that's cool, I dig it and I respect it. I want you to grab your ukulele, I want you to grab your brain, I want you to grab your attention span, follow me on in and let's break this lesson down right now. All right, so we're breaking down this bolero strum. We're going to just be using two chords because it's less about the harmony for right now and more about the rhythm. You're going to need a D minor. You're going to need an A7, okay? And the, the strum pattern is going to look like this. What I'm doing is, I'm with these three fingers, I'm going doing a strum, but I'm trying to get them to strum at different times, all right? So instead of going like this, I'm trying to kind of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now if this doesn't happen at the exact same time, that's okay, um, but do your best to kind of spread them out, okay? It doesn't have to be one, two, three, like that, but you don't want them at the same time. Then after I do that, I'm following through with my thumb. Then I'm coming back up with my thumb. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then I give it a nice mute, a healthy slap. I like to, on this particular one, come down and mute with these fingers, but I'm going to keep my thumb above my G string. See how my, when I finish that mute, my thumb is here? because then I come back through with my thumb after that. So, one, two, three, four, five. Those are the five pieces. Nice and super slow. Okay, a little faster and a little more constant. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do the same tempo, but I'm gonna play the D minor for two times and then the A7, so you can hear it in the context of a sound, or of a song. Okay, now let's speed it up a little bit. I know if you were watching that I accidentally played the D minor two times in a row a little longer but you did not see the size of the terrifying bee that flew by my face. It was amazing that I didn't break my concentration. All right. Keep your eyes open for more Mexican boleros coming soon. Get this strum pattern under your fingers first, okay? All right. Como les fue? Yo te dije que sería fácil, si o no? I told you it would be easy, 
and we broke it down and now you're ready to go to Mexico, eh? And have a good time, get a big hat, drink tequila, and you can go bussing around and people are going to be like, whoa, ukulele bolero? Boom! Mind blown, brother. Okay, ukulele, 10thumbspro.com, everything you need to learn to play this magical little jumping flea, this magical little instrument, okay? Subscribe, thumbs up if it helped you, and until next time, keep on doing you. And we're going to keep on doing us, okay? Check the links below, social media. We appreciate all your help. Take care.